At this time, we'd like you to please stand and help us welcome the Bell City High School graduating class of 2020. Good afternoon. On behalf of the faculty and staff at Bell City High School, I'm pleased to welcome you to the 2020 Bell City High School commencement exercises. Before we begin our program, we'd like to recognize our special guest with us, Dr. Shannon LaFord, Chief Academic Officer, and Mr. Robert Pete, Director of High Schools. We'd also like to take this opportunity to thank our school superintendent, Mr. Carl Brookhouse, and all those responsible for allowing us the opportunity to have the best graduation possible under our current situation. This was certainly not the graduation ceremony we envisioned when the year began, but we are grateful to have the opportunity to honor each of you today with this ceremony. We also would like to thank Sulphur High School and Principal Mr. David Poole for allowing us the opportunity to graduate in the Matt Walker Stadium, home of the Sulphur Golden Tours. At this time, I'd like to turn the program over to our mistress of ceremony, Ms. Allie Murphy. Good evening. My name is Allie Murphy. I would like to welcome you to the 2020 Bell City High School graduation. Please remain standing for the national anthem and for the Pledge of Allegiance, which will be led by Claire Leonards and Ryan White. Following the pledge, Kaylee Fruget will give the invocation. At the end of the invocation, the honor addresses will be given by Shea Mouton and myself. <laughs>
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. that you help us to remember that even though life has given us many reasons to worry and be upset you have given us more reasons to find comfort and peace in your presence and rest in your arms please lord help us not to focus on memories that we have lost or lack as graduates but instead have faith in what lies ahead we are so grateful that you are with us all of our days and pray for the well-being of our world our communities our schools our friends and our families Lord, keep our feet firm in your foundation and remind us daily that you have blessed us with hope for tomorrow and have faith in your plans for our future. In your name I pray, amen. Good afternoon, faculty, family, friends, and class of 2020. The last time I remember standing in front of an audience with a microphone when I was five years old singing karaoke. Today, I'm going to do you all a favor by choosing not to sing. Truthfully, I am very nervous to sit, I'm sorry, to stand before everyone here today and deliver this commencement speech. Before I began writing this speech, I sat down and thought of all the things that could possibly go wrong, such as falling flat on my face while walking to the podium. During my time in school, I've always enjoyed reading, so I would like to share a quote with you, all of you today from one of my all-time favorite authors, Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. What I took away from this quote is that as long as a person sets their mind on a dream and has the courage to take that first step towards that dream, then they will be able to accomplish what they have set up for. No matter how hard it gets, keep having faith in yourself and keep moving towards your goals. Because once you stop believing, and once you stop trying, you will get nowhere. So I implore you all to always work hard for what you want in life. Because once you achieve what you have set out for, there will be no other greater sense of accomplishment. Today, I'd like to thank all of the teachers and faculty at Bell City for the influence they have had on me and my fellow classmates. We would not be here without the dedication they had to help us get closer to achieving our goals. A special thanks to all of the parents and family here today and for those who could not be here for encouraging all of us to succeed. I know my parents and my family have always been there for me and have always pushed me towards success. Who I am today and what I have been able to accomplish are all thanks to my family. And most of all, I would like to thank God for all of the blessings he has given us. He is, I want to thank him for holding me in my faith as we all walk through this journey we call life. And I'd like to acknowledge my fellow classmates who have worked hard to make it to where we are now, who have inspired each other. We all deserve to celebrate how far we have come and even though we have had some setbacks this year, I am glad we have had this chance to be recognized for our accomplishments. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Salamat po, mahal ko, kayong lahat. Thank you, I love you all, and God bless.
I've spent the past four years in high school anticipating graduation, and it's finally here. While I must say it's not exactly as I'd imagined it, I'm so thankful to be here with all of my classmates and our families and teachers. I want to say congratulations to my classmates and to our teachers who helped us to get here. I'm so proud of my class and everything we've accomplished. We've truly built a one-of-a-kind bond, and I'm confident we'll overcome the hardships we face today. While at Bell City High School, I've made countless memories. My earliest being in Miss Becky's kindergarten classroom to my last in Miss Fruget's Spanish classroom on my last day of high school. Between those two moments in my life, I've made memories that will last forever. I've met the most incredible people who've taught me what it means to be a friend and how to truly be happy. From pep rallies to homecomings, Bruin Wars to end of the year parties, and time in class with our teachers, our class has experienced so much together and has made bonds that are inseparable. We've learned to turn our math homework in on time, perfect our essay writing skills, become familiar with the Spanish language, and so much more. But I think the most important lesson we've learned while at Bell City High School is perseverance, the importance of hard work, respect, and kindness. I'm so thankful to not only my classmates for these memories and lessons, but to the teachers, administrators, and staff who've helped to shape our future. For those of you who are here and those who are watching, on behalf of the class of 2020, I'd like to say thank you. For without you, we truly wouldn't be here today. I'd also like to thank all of the parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, siblings and cousins who are a part of each graduate's life. This was such an important year for all of us. Thank you for your support, encouragement, and love. To the underclassmen who are at home watching and to those of you who are here, I hope you don't take any moment for granted. Everyone has heard the tale of how vital cherishing the years of high school is, for they are the best years of your life and will be over before you know it. I'd be lying if I said this was anything but true. While my senior year may have been cut a few months short, it feels as though it only lasted a few weeks. I truly can't believe it's over, but I'm so thankful to have spent it with the class that I have. I want to thank my classmates again for making the best years of our life so amazing, and I wish all of you the best in your future endeavors. Lastly, I would like to close with a quote from Ralph Emerson. The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Thank you. We will now have the presentation of awards and scholarships by Mr. Folks and Ms. Dolan. The Scottish Rite of Patriotism. Each year, the Scottish Rite presents the American Patriotism Award to one boy and one girl. This award recognizes persons who display love of God and their fellow men, as well as love of the flag and our country. Recipients receive a certificate and medallion engraved with their names. Due to the recent closures, medallions will be sent to the students once they are received. This year's recipients are Claudia Merritt and Matthew Saloon. Come forward for your certificate. The Helms Award. The Lee H. Helms Award is given each year by the Helms family to a student who demonstrates excellent academics, leadership, patriotism, and citizenship. This year's recipient is a young lady who showcased all those attributes by maintaining a 4.03 GPA while taking college courses, participating in a variety of clubs on campus and livestock. I'd like to ask Callan Connor to come up and receive her award. There is a silver bowl that will be sent to her later. <laughs> Bell City Knights of Columbus recognizes one girl and one boy each year who have shown not only love of God and strong faith, but also who have shown an active spirit of volunteering and helping others. Recipient 
each recipient will receive a certificate and a check for $100. Will Alyssa Constance and Brady Harrington please come up to receive your awards? Bell City Little Dribblers League has worked for several years to provide opportunities for youths to develop skills on and off the court. The Board of Directors and Scholarship Committee wanted to promote volunteerism, leadership, scholastic achievement, good moral character and integrity. In this inaugural year of the award, two deserving young men have been chosen to each receive a $500 scholarship and certificate. The first recipients are Cameron Darwin and the second is Randy Leonard. Renette Guillory Bruin Award Scholarship. Mrs. Guillory left her mark on Bell City High School in, as a student, educator, and administrator. She is a lifelong Bruin who counts among her school accomplishments, Lady Bruin's team captain, homecoming queen, and Cole valedictorian. She served as a teacher, assistant principal, and principal of Bell City High, and expected the same qualities from her students that she demonstrated. Those were leadership, participation, service, and a quest for knowledge. This year's winner has been a member of the basketball, baseball, and track teams, FFA, Beta, Spanish Club, and FCA. He is a hard worker and is quick to volunteer when needed. I'd like Ethan Williams to come up and receive the certificate and a check for $200. American Press identifies students who have demonstrated academic ability and a desire for continuing their education, as well as showing good leadership qualities. Students receive a two-year scholarship valued at $1,400. This year's winner is Hannah Bro. The Cheryl Harrington Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of 1971 Bell City graduate Cheryl Harrington. Cheryl attended McNeese and USL and transferred home to Bell City as soon as a position became available. She taught math to special needs students. Her legacy includes a son and grandson who have graduated from Bell City as well as many grandchildren, nieces and nephews who currently attend Bell City. The recipient of this scholarship upholds the ideals, values, and academic ex excellence that Cheryl embodied. She has already begun her college career by taking dual enrollment classes while still in high school and maintaining a 4.16 GPA. It is our sincere hope that Claire Leonard will one day return to Bell City as a teacher. Claire, please come up to receive your certificate. Your 1,000 scholarship is already at Matinee's waiting for you. The Calcasieu School Counselors Association established two scholarships to be given each year in Calcasieu Parish to aid deserving, academically oriented students who plan to further their education. Bell City High School is proud to recognize our recipient, Sadie Prejean, and asks her to come forward to receive her certificate. 
Sadie and her parents were honored at a luncheon earlier this year at St. Pat's at Henderson, and she will receive a $500 check once she registers this fall. We have several students who have been awarded college scholarships and we would like to have them stand and be recognized at this time. We will begin with the Macney Scholarships. Distinguished Achievement Award, $10,000. Randy Leonard, please stand. <laughs> Academic Excellence Award, $18,000. Cameron Derwin. <laughs> Academic Excellence Award, $20,000. Cameron Andrus, Mallory Bell, Gabby Fruge, Kaylee Fruge. Reagan Hooper, Sadie Prejean, Matthew Saloum, and Madison Self. The John McNeese Award, $32,000, Ava Clark and Ali Murphy. Northwestern Opportunity and Hetty Fincher Scholarship, $14,400 from Mackenzie Janice. Louisiana Tech Outstanding Student Scholarship, 28,000, Cannon Woodcock. <laughs> University of Louisiana Monroe President's Distinguished Scholarship, $90,290, Shea Mouton. <laughs> and the Bethany Athletic Scholarship and Honor Scholarship, $80,000, Ryan White. The total scholarship amount excluding tops is $484,210. Thank you. I don't have that. Switch glasses. Bell City students have a long legacy of academic excellence and the 2020 graduates are no exception. We had 24 seniors who took dual enrollment courses which award Carnegie units as well as college credit and earned over 430 college hours. I am now asked these people to stand and ask that you please hold your applause till they have all stood. Cameron Andrus, Mallory Bell, Hannah Bro. Ava Clark, Callan Connor, Alyssa Constance, Cameron Derwin, Gabrielle Fruge, Kaylee Fruge, Gavin Gilbo, Brady Harrington, Reagan Hooper, Mackenzie Janice, Randy Leonard, Claire Leonards, Claudia Merritt, Shea Mouton, Allie Murphy, Sadie Prejean, Matthew Saloum, Madison Self, Alonzo Simon, Ryan White, and Cannon Woodcock. You may be seated. Ten seniors this year took and passed CLEP tests for college credit and earned over 37 college hours. Please stand to be recognized. Alyssa Constance, Gabby Fruge. Reagan Hooper, Mackenzie Janice, Claire Leonards, Carla Martinez, Claudia Merritt, Shea Mouton, Allie Murphy, and Sadie Prejean. Congratulations. You may sit. 42 out of our 54 students have unofficially met ACT and course requirements for one of the four top scholarships. The upper three levels of tops require at least the state average ACT score, currently a 20, and a 67% have attained or exceeded this score. We would like to take this moment to recognize five students who have scored at least 25 composite or higher on the ACT. When your name is called, please come forward 
to receive your medal. With a score of a 25 on the ACT, Cannon Woodcock. With a score of 26, Ava Clark. With a score of 26, Miss Allie Murphy. With a score of 27, Ryan White. And with a score of 33, Ms. Shea Mouton. I will now ask students who have unofficially earned the TOPS Tech Award to stand when their name is called and remain standing. This pays a portion of tuition for two years at approved technical schools. Please stand when I call your name, Mr. Hunter Armentor, Shad Bailey, Callan Connor, Camille Dorsey, Alexis DeWitt, Gavin Gilbo, Brady Harrington, Cortland Hartwell, Elton Kuntz, Rochela LaFleur, Carla Martinez, Christy Moro, Julio Marino, R.J. Papillon, Rayleigh Petros, Ava Richard, Alonzo Simon, Sadie Sonier, Tamara Thomas, and Ethan Williams. Congratulations. TOPS Opportunity is awarded to students that have an ACT of a 20 to 22 and completion of the TOPS curriculum with at least a 2.5 unweighted GPA on core courses. Please stand when I call your name. Cameron Andrus, Mallory Bell, Hannah Bro, Alyssa Constance, Cameron Derwin, Taylor Fontenot, Gabby Frugier, Mackenzie Janice, Randy Leonard, Claire Leonards, Macy Manuel, Claudia Merritt, Matthew Saloom, and Madison Self. Congratulations. You may be seated. The TOPS performance is awarded to students that have an ACT of a 23 to 26 and at least a 3.0 unweighted GPA. Students receive an extra $400 a year to help pay books and other expenses. Please stand when I call your name. Ms. Ava Clark, Kaylee Frugier, Reagan Hooper, Allie Murphy, Sadie Prejean, and Cannon Woodcock. Congratulations. You may be seated. TOPS Honors is awarded to students that have an ACT of 27 with at least a 3.0 GPA. This award pays an extra $800 a year to help pay books and other expense, expenses. Shea Mouton and Ryan White, please stand. Congratulations, you may be seated. The total potential TOPS amounted award to the 2020 class is $464,888. Added to the prior amount of scholarships announced, the 2020 class has been awarded 
I'm going to say just under a million dollars, $949,098. Congratulations, 2020. We will now recognize our students of the year. This is designed to recognize outstanding students. The program is an excellent opportunity to recognize those students who have demonstrated excellent academic achievement, leadership ability, and citizenship. At a minimum, candidates for students of the year must have a GPA of a 3.5, must submit an application portfolio, write an essay, and be interviewed by a panel of outside judges. Traditionally, we've had several students who qualify for the nomination but choose not to permit participate. The following students are commended for their effort and the time it took for them to complete this entire process. And I call your name, please come forward. Shay Mouton. Ryan White. Kaylee Fruge. Claire Leonards. Bigger weight. And Allie Murphy. I'm going to announce that right now. The uh, 1920 Bell City High School Student of the Year is Miss Allie Murphy. She will receive a $500 scholarship and a plaque. Congratulations, Allie. This is the last award that I'm announcing. I figured y'all would applaud. The last award to, pre to be presented this evening is the Principal's Award. It is awarded to a student who has shown significant growth during the span of not only their high school years for this person, but their entire time at Bell City, which included elementary years and middle school. The recipient of this year's award has matured and to an intelligent, caring, and considerate student who will truly be missed. Would April Desitel please come forward to receive her medal and award? Thank you. Mr. Nunez, Mr. Leonards, and Mr. Folks will now present the seniors with their diplomas. I'm back. Our first row, please stand. Miss Hannah Marie Bro. <laughs> Alyssa Nicole Constance. <laughs> Hannah. 
Ava Grace Clark. I need my glasses. Cameron Michelle Andrus. Kaylee Elise Fruge. Shay Marie Mouton. Alonzo Thane Simon. Cannon Cooper Woodcock. Reagan Diane Hooper. Brady Scott Harrington. Randy Abel Leonard. Claudia Rose Merritt. Shad Michael Bailey. Chad Ordwin. Gavin Paul Gilbo. Ava Nicole Reshord. April Ann Desitel. Rachela Nicole LaFleur. Colby Keith Abair. Taylor Grace Fontenot. Alexis Kinsley Madison DeWitt. Brent James Cornahan. Mallory Claire Wilkinson. Emily Lynn Swear. Cameron Cade Simeon. Brooke Madison. Packwood Christy Marie Morrow Miss Mallory Pearl Bell Sadie Marie Prejean. Madison Claire Self. Claire Elizabeth Leonards. Ryan Foster White. Allie Claire Murphy. Julio Marina Ortez. Mackenzie Adeline Janice. Camille Ashlyn Dorsey. Matthew Evan Saloon.
Gabrielle Marie Frugier. Callan Elise Connor. Hunter Scott Armentor. Ethan Williams. Cameron Scott Derwin. Carla Valeria Martinez. Rayleigh Ann Petros. Elton Mitchell. Kuntz, Cortland Reese Hartwell, Cade Daniel Fontenot, Maisie Ann Crater. Canaan Paul Bertrand. Tamara Nicole Thomas. Sadie. Camille Sawyer. Ronald John Papillon. That's what it says. <laughs> Cade Joseph Mott. and Macy Lee Manuel. Before, before I present the graduating class, we'd like to recognize some additional special guests this afternoon. This time I'd like to ask the graduates to please stand and remember, do not throw your caps just yet. This time we'd like our graduates to recognize all those in the stand, <clears throat> excuse me, all those in the stands <clears throat> that helped you to get where you are today, as well as all of your faculty and staff. Remember what it took to get you here and remember who helped you get to this point in your life. So a nice round of applause for those people, please, graduates. I'd like to ask all graduates at this time to please move the tassel from your cap from the right side to the left. Mamas and daddies, families and friends, faculty and staff, great pleasure for me to present to you the 2020 graduating class, Bell City High School. Congratulations.